Okay, in this video we're going to look at using vectors, so using I and J notation, in the context of other questions. So we've got V equals U plus AT, and F equals MA, and we're going to just answer the question involving I's and J's. So we've got a particle of mass 2 kilograms under the action of a force F. We've got acceleration is I plus 2J. And when T is 0, so at the start, the velocity, so the initial velocity, is 5I minus 2J. So part A says find the magnitude of F, so the force, so F equals MA. And F equals M, which is 2, times A, which is I plus 2J. So F is 2I plus 4J. Now we've found the force, but it says the magnitude. So we've got a vector. We need to, in I and J format, we need to convert it to just a number, just a magnitude. So we've got magnitude and direction we need to change it to a magnitude. And we do that using Pythagoras. So 2 squared plus 4 squared equals the full squared. So we've got 4 plus 16, so 20 equals the full squared. So F equals root 20. And that will be Newton's. Find the velocity when t equals 4. So we're using v equals u plus at now. So we know that, well, I've write the su that we know t is 4. We know a is i plus 2j. We know the initial velocity is 5i minus 2j. And we want to find V. So V equals U plus AT. So V equals U, which is 5I minus 2J, plus AT. So I put T first, plus 4 times A, I plus 2J. So we just simplify. So 5I minus 2J plus 4I plus 8j, which is 9i, plus 6j. And that is the velocity. If we were asked for speed, we would have to convert this by doing Pythagoras, but it's velocity, so the answer is 9i, plus 6j, and that's meters per second. Okay, here's another one of the same questions. So, pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you're ready to go through. Okay, so two kilograms mass. We've got A as 3i minus 2j, and the initial velocity is 4i minus j. So to find F, we're going to do F equals ma, which is f equals 2 times 3i minus 2j, which is 6i minus 4j. We only want the magnitude, so we'll do Pythagoras. 6 squared plus 4 squared is f squared. 36 plus 16 is 52. So f equals square root 52. Newtons. Find the velocity when t equals 5. So we're going to do v equals u plus at. And u is 4i minus j. a is, now we'll do t first, so 5 times a. 3i minus 2j. So v equals u plus at. Just expand the bracket. So 15i 
minus 10j and simplify. So we've got 19i minus 11j. And that is in meters per second. Okay, here's another similar question. So we've got mass. We've got initial velocity. And this time we've got final velocity. So in t equals 5, we've got final velocity. We need to find the acceleration this time. So we're going to again use v equals u plus at. This time we've got final velocity, so 13i minus 13j. We've got initial velocity, 3i plus 2j. And that equals at, which is 5. A, and we don't know what A is yet. So we need to get the I's and J's together. So if we subtract 3i from both sides, 3i from both sides, that's 10i. Subtract 2j from both sides, minus 15j equals 5a. And then we divide by 5. So 2i minus 3j is a. So there's the acceleration in terms of i and j. So it's 2i minus 3j meters per second squared. Find the magnitude of f. So we're going to do f equals ma. m is 2. a we've just worked out. So 2i minus 3j. So f is 4i minus 6j. We need to find the magnitude though. So we'll do Pythagoras. 4 squared plus 6 squared equals f squared. 16 plus 36. So 52 equals f squared. So f equals square root 52 newtons. Okay, another one. So pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you're ready to go through. So we've got m as 2. We've got initial velocity, 3i minus 7j. t is 4 when v is 13i plus 14j. So we're going to find the acceleration. v equals u plus at. So V is 13i plus 14j. U is 3i minus 7j. And that equals AT, which is 4a. So we'll get the i's and j's together. So take away 3a, 3i from both sides. So 10i. Add 7j to both sides. So that's 21j. And now we divide by 4. So a is, so 10 over 4, we can simplify these after. 10 over 4a plus 21 over 4j. So we can say 5 over 2i, and we'll leave it as 21 over 4j, and that's meters per second squared. Find the magnitude of f, so f equals ma. m is 2, a is 5 over 2i plus 21 over 4j. So we expand the bracket, which gives us 5i plus 21 over 2j. And we want the magnitude, so we, we're going to use Pythagoras, so 5 squared plus 21 over 2 squared equals f squared. We'll use a calculator, so 5 squared plus 21 over 2 squared 
and we'll square root the answer. So f equals, well, I've got root 5, 4, 1 over 2, or to three significant figures, that's 11.6 newtons.